we have to do chemistry reads. Jonah really, really pushed on that. And he said, the most important thing is the chemistry between the two uh, leading roles. And we met and read with many very talented actresses, but it wasn't until we met Monica who blew us away that we were like, wow, this is, this is it. Congrats on the movie. I got to watch it last night. I loved it. Ah, thanks. Great. Um, but so first off, I know you're a, you're a producer on this as well as an actor. So I was, I would love to hear just about like how this came together and what made you want to be a part of it, uh, of the development process as well as, you know, on camera. It's kind of a crazy story. Uh, it goes back to 2018 after the first season of Luis Miguel, which is the first project that I produced. I, uh, had a general meeting with Paramount thinking that they were going to pitch me projects to act in. But the first thing they asked me was what was next on my producing slate? And I panicked and I lied saying that I had a great rom-com in the vein of Notting Hill, because it's one of my favorite rom-coms, set in Mexico. And it's a bicultural love story between an actress and a guy who lives in Mexico. And I told them I would have the script ready for them in a week. And I left the meeting. Uh, I called my producing partners. They wanted to kill me. Uh, and they met at my house. And we were probably up to like four or five in the morning. Uh, coming up with a movie idea, you know, just, just brainstorming like crazy. And we came up with a one pager who we sent to a writer friend of ours who was house sitting at the time. And uh, we told him, Giovanni, you know, we'll get you as many espressos as you need. We need this in a week. And he delivered a great script. Paramount bought it. And we started developing it shortly after. Uh, many different writers came on board filmmakers. I mean, it, 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 there, there so many drafts of the script. Uh, but it wasn't until we met Jonah Feingold, our director, who like he really made it his own and took it to the next level. We watched his film Dating and New York. We all loved. We thought it was a rom-com. It was very fresh. We hadn't seen anything like it. And Jonah really wanted to use the fact that, you know, he's like, I've never seen a Hollywood rom-com shot in Mexico, you know, and Cities play such a big role in these rom-coms, you know, Midnight in Paris, Sleepless in Seattle, you know, you see these movies and you want to go there, right? It's like, there's all these stories that have to do with narcos and drugs and drug trafficking coming out of Mexico, but being Mexican, that's not everything Mexico has to offer. Mexico is so much more than that. And uh, we went down to Mexico City, Joan and I. Uh, we're like, uh, we have to do chemistry reads. Jonah really, really pushed on that. And he said, the most important thing is the chemistry between the two uh, leading roles. And we met and read with many very talented actresses, but it wasn't until we met Monica who blew us away that we we're like, wow, this is, this is it. This is it. You know, and Monica came in, you know, so passionate about the story, the character, uh, so many great ideas. We all went down to Mexico City, spent a week there. You know, I wanted to like show them the beauty of Mexico City and the restaurants and the art and the you know nightlife and the people. And uh, Jonah polished the script. He really did an incredible job. He wanted it to have a bit of like a magical realism feel to it, a bit of like a fairy tale, but also an, a nod and a note to uh, classic uh, 90s rom-coms and uh, and we just, you know, proceeded to cast the movie. We were very lucky, you know, getting great, great actors, Anders Holm, Whitney Cummings, Casey Thomas Brown, who was with me in Father of the Bride, uh, Kat Cohen, uh, and then, you know, uh, getting a great team of producers. You know, this is the first movie that I produced under my production company. I wanted to be, you know, the least experienced person on set, you know, and we, you know, uh, met with Fred Berger who produced La La Land. He came on board, uh, which was amazing. We, uh, I also invited Michelle Franco, who's an incredible Mexican filmmaker who directed me in Nuevo Orden, which won the, the Venice film festival in 2020. And he also produced this. So it was almost like the best of Mexico, the best of Hollywood. Uh, and we shot this in Mexico a year ago. That's awesome. That's so, it's so cool to hear about it. And again, the movie's great. Congratulations on it. 